I love teaching Marine. Grade 7, it was the first time I've ever done Grade 7. I usually worked with younger or older, so Grade 7 was a new experience. It was a lot of fun. Got to do soccer, got to work with the children, got to tutor, got to do help to read, so the whole, I got, felt like I got to do a wide variety of things. You know, last year was the first time we had gone into a special needs school, um, and they were very hesitant and scared, and understandably so. This year was great because I think they trusted us more, and it was really a great opportunity to share resources and philosophies and, and interventions. Um, one of the things um, I know is, is, is something that everyone here is working on is behavior management and um, having uh, the punishment system being revamped recently, it's still some of the old ideas and the old methods are still in use. Um, and I think to, to look at it and give a solution other than don't hit or don't, don't use a ruler doesn't help, so what should I do? And it was nice to be able to say, mm -hmm. in addition, you could try. And giving a behavior management plans and going over how to work with different kinds of kids. Um, I felt that was very rewarding. I think if you come in and keep blinders on and say that's wrong and walk away, you haven't helped solve mm -hmm. the problem. You've just observed and left. So I felt like this year was more of a solution to the problems. Um, being with Mrs. Williams at the Elson School was amazing. She was so open. I think her openness was reflected in the teachers because she had some I've loved working with the students. I was a bit nervous because at home the class sizes are a lot smaller and here walking to a classroom with 40 kids up to my knee is um, pretty intimidating but th it's also amazing and come in every morning and oh teacher Heather, teacher Heather and I, I love, I have so many stories I think about teaching the kids, it's amazing and I thought it would be impossible to teach that many but it's not so I feel like I can come back and so different, especially in Ocean View anyway, that's the only school I really got into um, it's just so different, I mean there's so much more structure um, a lot of rules, routines, things like that the class sizes are a lot smaller, um, the kids are more well behaved but I think that's just because they go through school like learning you know they go through the motions of learning you know how to behave in school and it's just different but I have to say and just the curriculum everything's just different teachers are trained differently um, the expectations of teachers is different I think um, but the teachers I met here are really nice and I think that they what they're given they do the best that they can um, I think that they really care about the kids which is important um, so you think you've made a um, we filmed a movie um, at Ocean View High School, and then um, I also did the rugby team there and helped out with the men's rugby team, um, just kind of doing some assistant coaching. Uh... I think some of the best moments were being able to, to work, you know, to do art with the kids, because that's something that I get so excited about. And there's some such talented students here, it's really mind-blowing. And, and, and so to be able to work with them and um, and just give them a space where they could draw and have that be the important thing that they were doing that day it was really um, so much fun and, and such a great uh, such a great experience. One of the things we did was we went on a hike to do some watercolors, which was nice. And then we also went into Cape Town to go see um, the museum there and talk about the art, which was weird because it's all this European stuff that they really can't relate to, but there's still you know, some lessons and art, art lessons to learn from it, so, uh, yeah. I went to a really nice private school the other day, and that was uh, a whole world of difference, um, obviously, between, um, between uh, Ocean View Secondary, but um, I guess the one of the major differences, other than just the whole educational value, was that uh, scarily, the kids at Redham, when I talked about teaching in the townships, had no idea of the other world. Like they just tend to live in their like big, you know, Ronda Bosch, Cape Town, upper white class uh, bubble, and they were not aware of the things I was talking about and the issues within the educational system and things like that. So that was a little, it was a little off-putting, but um, I did get to see the differences and hopefully. We talked about uh, with those kids opportunities about like being able to volunteer and help tutor and stuff like that and lend their time and hopefully I don't know they can get out and understand more about the country they actually live in.